it's JP. I'm back with IMPC Prologue. This is the first prologue since we released IMPC Pro. People have already been creating really great stuff with IMPC Pro. I'm super excited to see it out there. Um, I'm here today to talk about an update we're doing. This is in review with Apple right now, so uh, we should see it in the App Store any day. Basically, uh, we fixed several uh, pressing bugs. Probably the most important bug is the uh, end trim point bug. If you run into this, uh, basically, the trim end point in the sound editor wasn't setting correctly when you reopened a project. So we fixed that so your chops and edits should, should uh, be honored now. Uh, also, we've added uh, something new. Now you can delete sounds from the app. So basically, uh, in the sound browser, um, any sound, like if I want to go in here and make a bunch of edits to, to one of these sounds. Let's say if I go in here and uh, let's see, I'll fade it out. Um, go ahead and oops, reverse it. All right. So I've made a couple edits. And I don't really like this, so I want to delete it. So now I can go find it in uh, uh, my sounds. Um, all right, so there it is, our ports four. Uh, so from right here in the table, I can pick it up, and anything I'm dragging, I can uh, now drop onto this trash can and delete the sound. Uh, I can also delete it right off the pad. Uh, so basically, you can have a quick way to delete anything in the app now. So that's kind of the new uh, little feature we have in here and lots of other bug fixes. So check the uh, video notes. Uh, we've got more updates coming, and uh, can't wait to hear what you guys do with this, as always. Thanks a lot. That's it. That's all the energy I have.